According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, Russia's troops have destroyed hundreds of military targets in continued ground and air missile attacks. As for the Ukrainian side, they claim to have pushed back the Russian troops, advancing toward Bakhmut city in eastern Ukraine. In a press briefing, Ukrainian Defense Ministry affirmed that the battle for Severodonetsk saw some Ukrainian troops lose up to 90% of their effective military response as they have withdrawn towards Lysychansk. Meanwhile, Ukrainian president renewed his calls on Western countries for more ammunition as the latter ran out. Elsewhere in Severodonetsk, troops are still in control of a Zod chemical plant amidst fierce confrontations between armies. The situation in the Donbass region is very tough. Severe Donetsk, Lysychansk, Krakow are now in the epic center of the confrontation. Taking into account the presence of a large chemical plant in Severe Donetsk, the strikes of Russian army there, among other places including air bombings, is simply madness. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen made a surprise visit to Kyiv, where she met the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Underlining his bid to join the EU bloc, Ukraine's leader called for new sanctions to target more Russian officials, including judges, and to hamper the activities of all banks, as well as gas giant Gazprom's and all Russian companies help in Moscow in any way. Six packages of EU sanctions have become a tangible instrument of pressure on Russia during the war. However, the war, unfortunately, is still going on. So the seventh package of sanctions is needed, and it must become even more powerful. This comes ahead of the decision of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to visit the Ukrainian capital Kyiv by the end of June as part of his support to the war-torn country.